Hi everyone, welcome to Play Atlantic. This is a online tutorial on how to create uh, your own profile page. Now looking at the home page here, you've got the student athlete section. If you click on the join here button, it's going to take you straight to the package options that we do and we've got four different options. If you haven't been on here already, please go and have a look. It's um, you know it's worth the read to show you exactly what we offer. We've got the free, the advanced, premium and ultimate packages. Down the left hand side here you've got all the different options and the different benefits that each one gives you. And if you click down here on the brochure that's going to take you to a more detailed uh, list of everything that we offer within each package. Okay, if we go to the sign up now for the free. Now the free and the advanced packages, the registration form is going to be pretty much the same. The main difference is the video that you can upload on the advanced package, which is on the form, uh, on the next form. Right, I'm just going to type in some of my details, um, just to show you exactly what what the profile page is going to look like when you start filling it all in. Right, so Auckland. And Auckland is in New Zealand, so we'll just scroll down a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I'll just type in my email address. Okay, and we click on the sign up for free button. Now that's going to send you an email to basically say that yeah, you know, we've confirmed that you're your account has been created. Um, if you click on the create your profile now button, that's going to take you to the the form where you've got to fill in, which is going to whatever you fill in here, that's going to show on the pro on the uh, website. So and that's going to show to all the coaches. So okay, I'll just put in a picture there. Okay, now as you can see on the form here, we've got the national profile link. We've got this Nash, this uh, ranking link right here. Now this is for you to put in a, a web address so coaches can, can look at your results. Now for most sports, you've got, um, you've got a website where you, know, you, can, you can show people whatever results you're doing. Obviously it's easier for individual sports, but you still, you should have that for team sports as well. Um, now for over here, um it's for tennis it's it's pretty pretty straightforward so if i just type in my one that should just come up with my name at the top and then i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that link right into that box there now if you have another another um another link that you want to include whether it's an international link or uh, whether it's a club link, you can put that in there, that's fine. In this little box here, it says plays. Um, that's what we're looking for in your, for tennis. I'm gonna put time, we'll do capital R, right-handed, and I'll put double-handed backhand. But it could be, um, if you're playing soccer, it could be striker or defender. You know, there's, there's, you got to think about what sport you play, what information you should put into that box. So style, I'm going to go with aggressive baseliner. Okay, height, um, we'll go with 180. Weight, let's go 77. Um, country, I'm currently in New Zealand. Playing level. Um, I'd probably say it used to be national ranking. Um, let's. I want you to try and be as accurate as you can with all the all this information. So if you're putting the links in here, so the coaches can click on a button, they can go to your results. Then you've got to be pretty accurate with your with your rankings here as well. So you've got the ranking option here, and you've got national ranking. Um, you know, you can use these fields to put in accurate information. If it's not accurate information and we think you're um 
you know, you think you're falsifying some of the information, we'll just, we'll, we will take your profile off. So, national ranking, 136, NNZ. And if I was, um, if I had an international ranking, I'd put that in there as well. So I might put um, number number 256 um, ITF, which is the international tennis ranking. Now down here, you've got the NCAA Clearinghouse ID. This is a 10 digit, 10 digit number, which once you register with the eligibility center, they'll give you a 10 digit number, which you've got to put in here, which allows coaches when they're talking to you to search where you are in the process so i'll just make this up and date of birth that's not my date of birth but i'll keep it in there eligibility status this is um once you've once you've registered with the clearing house where you are in the process so you know if you haven't started then put that in there if you've completed it and now you're eligible to play there we go that's what you're going to do we've got the gpa option here um, based on the 4.0 scale, so the US scale, so I'll just put in 3.5. You've got your different SAT scores. Um, I'll just put 400, 400, and 400. You've got your graduation date, so when you graduated high school, so that comes up. So I'll just choose this day. The sport, I'll put tennis. Now in these boxes here, you've got the player bio, academic information, and tournaments. So you want to provide as much um, accurate information as you possibly can. So in the player bio, you could put, um, you know, what, what, just a little bit about yourself, a little bit of personal information um, that you're trying to trying to market yourself basically to the coaches. Academic information, well, that that is basically about your school, you know, what school you go to. Um, maybe a little bit more information about what, you, what you've been studying, what you'd like to study at, at what major you'd like to do at uh, college. Tournaments, put down as much information as you can in regards to what tournaments you've done, any notable wins against opposition, you know, anything you can really think of which is really going to sell yourself to coaches, you've got to put in these three boxes here. After you've done that, click on uh, have a read through of the terms and conditions. and If you're happy with them, click on yes and submit. Okay, and that's going to be uploaded onto the site. So if you go to the coaches section here and you go down to athlete profiles, you can see that here I am right here. So if I click on that, I put all my information into those boxes. As you can see, the national ranking, if you click on the link here, that's going to bring up, bring up the page with all the results. If I had an international ranking or an, if I filled in the other link box, that's going to come up here as well. Um, I've got the player bio, the tournaments information, academic information. And if I had the, if I filled in the advanced package, I'd also have the option right here of the uh, media video. So the coaches could come on, they could see that media video and they could see you playing whatever sport you, you're playing in. For the premium ultimate packages, they have the option of uploading three to four videos. So obviously the more footage, the better it is for the coach to, to get a good view on, on your standard. Now the coach, when the coach is logging in, they're gonna also see a little button here. It says email or contact details, um, which is gonna be exactly you know, how, how they contact you. So that's gonna come up here, which, which you can't see. Um, to modify your profile, just click on the link here. And that's going to take you straight back to the to the registration form. So if you want to change any details, or if your ranking changes, then that's where you've got to go to. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, if you come off the site and you've logged out, this is where you need to go to log back in. So you just go to the top. It'll say log in uh, or update your details, and it's also under the athlete section right here, student login. Okay, brilliant. I think that's it. Um, if you've got any questions, please go on the contact us form, fill it in, and we'll be happy to hear from you. Okay, thanks for listening, and good luck with your college search.